Okay, not too many people realize that you can use LEDs to produce a voltage and electrical current. Now, a lot of videos you'll hear about using a red LED. Now, out of all the colors, the red, the green, the yellow, and using just a clear one, a white, the red does produce the best out of that bunch. It puts out around 1.3 to 1.45 volts when light is shined directly into the LED and it puts out a small current of around 10 to 20 microamps. Now since I saw no one else online try it, I thought of using an even better LED and that is the infrared. We have a great source of infrared energy coming from the sun so if any of these should put out the best it should be the infrared and sure enough I tested it the current output is three to four times higher than using a red LED so I got six of them in series and if I put that directly into the Sun and keep in mind there's still a cloud out so it's not getting full this puts out around 6.4, 6.5 in that range with the six of them. And the current output is around 60 to 70 microamps, which is a small amount of current, but you can still use it for triggering things. So I got that angle towards the sun, and we're putting out 65. And we still have a cloud in front. 60. We're peeking out around 70 and there's still a cloud. Now if you want, you could also put a magnifier in front of this, which I tried. I held a magnifying glass about 4 inches away. I didn't want to get the focal point too concentrated, otherwise it'd burn it up. But I was putting out, believe it or not, 2 milliamps. I went from 70, 80 microamps all the way up to 2 milliamps by using a magnifier in front of it. Okay, so what I did is I put six infrared LEDs. I think the spectrum rating on these is 940 nanometers. I'm going to demonstrate how the voltage and the current from this little series of infrared LEDs is enough to trigger a circuit. I have a 9 volt battery that is on the side of the circuit that's going to be triggered and I'm using an EC103D it's an extremely sensitive an ultra sensitive thyristor or an SCR and how it works you're going to trigger the gate and it only requires microamps of current to trigger this particular thyristor now this one's rated 800 milliamps but you can get these up to 10 amps so in this demonstration what I'm going to do I'm going to show you that using an infrared LED or a bunch of them in series to get the voltage higher is enough to trigger a circuit in this case I have it connected to a 12 volt piezo alarm I'm now going to connect the infrared LEDs, which is the power source, which is going to trigger the thyristor, which in turn allows this circuit to come on, which is the piezo alarm. Doesn't require much current to activate this. That's it. Alright. Once this is set, it stays on. This is just like my cell phone triggering and deactivating circuit that I have. It uses the same component. So once this triggers, it stays on until you remove the power feeding the circuit that's running. Until you remove the power from the circuit that's been triggered. So some people may say, yeah, what good is this? It's not enough power for anything because it's only 70 microamps. But I just proved to you that you could trigger a circuit using it. As long as you use an ultra-sensitive thyristor, this will trigger another circuit. Okay, I deactivated the circuit. By deactivating the circuit by removing the power to the load, it resets. 
in order to activate it again, you gotta touch this. See, it now stays on. Now, if you have a, a circuit that you want to have trigger at a certain time of the day, and you don't feel like hooking up, making a circuit that has a time clock and going through all that bullshit, you could put all of these inside of a tube at the bottom, maybe six inches tall, and you can aim the tube in the direction of where the sun would be at a certain hour of the day. Once the sun gets to that spot, this circuit will trigger. That's one use. I'm sure there's many other uses for this, but as you can now see, infrared LEDs have a sufficient amount of power to trigger another circuit.